wow, the lighting is so much better when I turn the light on on my camera. Alright, so, um, the last video I posted was a review of the uh, Jazz 3 Variety Pack. Wow, I should have turned the... I should have turned the light on when I did this. You can, you still can't read it, but it's much more apparent. So I did a review on the Jazz 3 Variety Pack. Now we're going to do a, ser a video review on the Jazz 3, uh, custom Jazz 3, Kirk Hammett Signature Picks. Now on six pack, Dunlop on the top of it, and then you get six pack, six picks, not six pack. <laughs> um, here's just this little thing that's on the back of it. I'm going to go ahead and read it for you just because... Um, it's really, really blurry on my camera here. Kirk Hammett Custom Jazz 3. I started using this pick around 2004 and never looked back. I play faster, with more articulation than ever, and the notes really pop. The Custom V cutout gives me a better grip. I hope you like it. Kirk Hammett. And then model number up here is 47PKH3N. I know the KH would be for Kirk Hammett, but I don't know what all that other gibberish is. So yeah, let's get right into these. I bought a pack of these yesterday. They came in, I did the standard one day shipping because I'm a huge Metallica fan. And I really wanted to see how the Kirk Hammett picks. Jesus, this is much harder to open than the last one. Would fare up to... Where is that? No, I need, that. I need a sharper point. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Jim Dunlop. Throw those out of the pack here. And these are what you get. So, uh, look on the front here. The front of it has the um, JD for the Jim Dunlop uh, logo. Jazz 3 on the bottom of it. Flip it over. And I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that, but Kirk Hammett's signature. Right there. Sorry, you set of... You know, sorry you can't see it too good. But, yeah. The... Now, I've played this pick for about an hour yesterday. Um, actually, a very nice pick. I thought it was going to be... You know, I just bought them because I'm a huge Kirk Hammett fan. I didn't think I would love them all that much. Which is one of the reasons why I got a variety pack of the Jazz 3s. Because I wanted to try something new. But anyway. So, we see here... Let me grab the regular standard Jazz 3. You can see... They are about the same size. Put them together, you can see just how much material was cut out of the original Jazz 3s that he used to use. That he just, you know, cut a little V in to get a better grip on it. So, same material, same thickness. Um, really, really difficult to bend. There's like very little give in these picks. Which is one thing I really like. I, I like a nice thick pick. I don't like there to be a lot of give. Even when I'm playing acoustically, I like my picks to have just a little bit of thickness to them. Um, so, yeah, these are nice. They fit very well in the hand. Not the hand, the fingers. When you're picking at them. And picking with them. You can see just how um, little space there is between the pick and right after your thumb to attack the string with. And with these, I found that harmonics are a lot easier. I've played several Metallica songs. Um, I did the Fade to Black solo, and it's much, much easier to play with a small pick like this with that really, really sharp point, as opposed to the Magrava Tortex here. So you can see, compared to the standard Tortex pick, you can see how more... Um, how elongated and much more round it is at the tip as opposed to this where it just comes up at a point. It's almost like an arrowhead, really. But, uh, these back here. Comes to a much, much finer point. Much smaller than the standard uh, pick, as I've shown you in the last video, but I'm going to do it again just so you can have a nice comparison. Yeah, so compared to a regular Jazz 3, where you would have that much cutoff on a guitar pick, standard sized, you would have that much cutoff compared to the Kirk Hammett, because there's a little cutoff on the top. Um, so yeah, the little cutoff, I 
Don't know if it actually helps me grip the pick better, but I can definitely feel um, the meat from the tip of my index finger um, on my thumb as I'm holding it. So the grips on the ends, because this is the signature and the Jim Dunlop logo are all are both textured, so that offers you a nice bit of grip, I think. And you get six of them. I wish I would have bought like 36 packs because these are pretty cool. Oh, well, maybe in the future if I decide I really, really like these picks. But I haven't played much on a Jazz 3. I just had a, um, I just bought these because, not that one. Damn. A lot, a lot of old text picks. There they are. I use that to open it. Because I like that really fine point. It actually, you know, it seemed like a really small thing at the time. I just got the one with the sharper tip on it because I figured I'd try something new. And it turns out that that actually helped me play just a little bit faster. You know, speed runs are a lot easier. Um, like single note, you know, trim picking articulation is much easier. I can do um, much more, you know, st string skipping is much easier with a much finer point, and that's why I got these, and they really do work. So if you need, so if you're playing with just a standard, standard shaped guitar pick, and you find that especially learning how to play a song, or a solo like Fade to Black, or if you're trying to figure out how to play, you know, anything Eric Johnson related, you'll find that it's much easier to play on a Jazz 3, because there's a lot less material for you to grip onto, that point is much finer, so it'll help you get to different strings a lot better. Um, I'll do a full playing demo on these where I play with all these different picks in the future, but for now, that is your review on the Kirk Hammett Dunlop Jazz 3 Custom, or the Signature Series, whatever the hell you want to say it. And I also like how it looks like a heart. That little cutoff makes it look like a heart, and that's actually kind of fun. Alright guys, so thanks for tuning in. That was This has been the review on the Kirk Hammett seri series Jazz 3 picks. And if I can get them all into focus here, I can end the video in a nice, sweet way. Slide them all in like this because there's just enough space. Do that. Yep. Alright, so thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in my next video where I review a bunch more guitar picks that I bought. Thanks for watching, guys.